Good morning, good morning. Do, 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 do. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning. Welcome to a daily dose of joy. Mmm, Hot lemon water. Yum. Who would have thought? So refreshing. Hmm. Well, this morning, I'm still in sleepy mode. And out of tea. Mm, so lemon water it is for me this morning. Whoopsie daisy. But I have my cuddly, cuddly throw pillow here. You can just barely see him. She would just pop up and say, good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm the cutie dog. <laughs> he loves hanging out right there when I'm doing a daily dose of joy with you guys. All right. So today we are going to do a, um, let's see. What do we want to do today? What has been up as of late? Oh, I still got my morning yawnies on. Mm. Okay. All right. Mm. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I had a funny whoopsie daisy this morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, um, <laughs> last night, you know, uh, well, I, I picked, I, last night I put pajamas on that had been laying on the end of the bed and like slung them across the end of the bed the, the morning before. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll just rewear those pajamas. And the pants have been hanging there, little pajama pants and little pajama t-shirt with a little racer back. It's cute. And um, once I put it on last night, this morning when I came out to the kitchen and I'm rooting through the drawer looking for my tea and I'm yawning and sleepy. malfunction all of a sudden bloop <laughs> it's just part of the reason I have my jacket on <laughs> is it was just not gonna be able to occasionally I wear pajamas for a daily dose of joy and uh, wasn't gonna be able to do that this morning and what I realized is that while it was hanging there the little Ritz spaghetti strap racer back thing had been hanging there like a like a toy for the dog just dangling there off the bed and the puppy is still in him and he will still occasionally go for something dangly and enticing and he basically chewed it to where there was just like a filament must have been left when i put it on last night and didn't realize it but then moving around this morning it was like release be free <laughs> whoopsie daisy so now i've tied it it's more like a halter top but um, <laughs> it did make me think that there are so many wardrobe malfunction whoopsie daisies. So I hope that will inspire you to remember some of yours. And one of my favorite whoopsie daisy wardrobe malfunction stories is a friend of mine is a doctor. And, <laughs> and she was working on a patient. And there's a, you know, there was a, she puts down that fabric, not fabric, paper, right? On the, on the table, on the exam table, they put down the fabric and the patient's there and she's doing her, her thing. And she goes to sit down on a stool and, and there's this sound. And she said, it sounded just like she had farted. And she didn't know whether to just keep going so nothing can happen or address what had happened because it was not a toot. She had split the entire inner seam of her pants and she's tiny. And it just like, it was just somehow the way she sat that day and it just split the seam of her pants. And um, so she, she takes some of the extra of the roll and ties it around like a sarong. <laughs> But in her mind, she's like, okay, this patient's either thinks I just ripped a huge 
fart and didn't say anything, or I need to explain why I've made a sarong out of paper. <laughs> oh, and she's also, she's laughing internally. <laughs> she finally fesses up. Ooh. So she and her patient can have a good laugh together. <laughs> And then one of my favorite personal wardrobe malfunction whoopsie daisy stories was when I went to my first like formal dance with my best friend who became my boyfriend later on and I wore high heels for the first time, which is great because I'm little. <laughs> and it was like, ooh, this is so fantastic. This is so fun. And we went to this fancy restaurant with our friends and I had on this like, satiny red strapless dress, but it did have a little bit of, it had a kind of a fling to the skirt. Okay, this is the 80s. <laughs> it's the end of the 80s, so there's, it's, it's Madonna-esque. <laughs> it has crinoline under it, which is like net, you know? And I get to the restaurant and I sit down at the table and because I am petite, I have a habit of sitting on one of my feet. It's like a booster chair. <laughs> Well, I'd never done this with high heels on before. And we have a lovely meal. We're laughing with our friends. We have a great time. Everybody gets up to go to the prom and I stand up and I'm like a stork with one leg up and one leg down. And I'm standing there and the high heel shoe has gone through the crinoline and is stuck <laughs> under the skirt of this dress. I was like, no. All I could do is stand there and just, like talking to everybody and, and trying to like get it out. And I start laughing. And my boyfriend just looks at me and is like, what's the, or Wendy, so we go, what's going on? It's like, I need some assistance. I mean, it was so stuck and the shoe was tight enough that I couldn't just like wrench it out. And so, in the restaurant, he reaches under my skirt and pulls the shoe up. Oh, it's, it's, it was very Madonna esque that I had like crinoline, a little crinoline tail hanging out the bottom. But at least I wasn't hop along Cassidy trying to pogo stick my way out of the restaurant. story just delights me. <laughs> Life is full of wobbles. <laughs> Let's keep training our brains to delight in them. <laughs> oh, oh, mm, 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 mm. Let's take three solidarity breaths. Mm. It is so fun doing this every day with you guys. And I look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow, May today, surprise and delight us. See you then.